Alright, uh, welcome to Let's Play Total War Shogun 2 with me, the Luminary. Um, this is going to be my first big Let's Play. Um, I had started a, um, a cooperative Let's Play with uh, Demonstrator a year or two ago on uh, Doom, and that didn't really go anywhere. We still want to finish it, but uh, <laughs> uh, time is, is always the constraint here. Um, yeah, so, as I said, this is kind of my first big thing, so I'm sure there's going to be problems. Um, I'm still fighting with audio levels and such, so forgive me on that. Uh, I chose Total War Shogun 2 because I'm a huge fan of the Total War series. I've watched many Let's Plays. Um, I just, I love, I love the games. I've never played this particular one before. Um, hopefully it works out, but... Uh, I couldn't get any of the other ones to run properly on my computer, which is sad because I'd really like to try the uh, Rum one. Maybe they'll make a sequel. So this will be a blind run through. Um, I may t <laughs> I'm going to try not to spend too much time reading and, and uh, going over too much of the game. Just kind of <laughs> ram my way through it. Uh, so this could very well be the shortest Let's Play ever. Um, but let's go. Um, I don't, as I said, I don't really know the pros and cons too much of each of the sides, of clans, I guess. So, I think I'm going to just sort of go at random here. Uh, I know that uh, Get Dave, I believe he played as these guys, but, uh, and he, I didn't watching the entire thing, but uh, it seemed to be work, it work out pretty good for him. But I don't like to do what other people have already done, and by virtue of the fact that that's lame. So, let's just kind of take a look here. The sailors. Master of Horses. You know what? Okay. I will go with Chosokabi, um, just because I like using bow infantry, and that's pretty much my only logic here. Um, I'm sure some people are saying, this is the dumbest one you could have picked, but you know what? Regrets are for the weak. Uh, we'll play short campaign, uh, normal difficulty. Um, sure, this looks good. Okay, let's go. Raindrops on the lake, a universe of ripples, center touching all. A Japanese death poem. That, uh, that's eloquent. Good job, Japanese. So yeah, so I uh, I kind of just got into let's playing because I'm a human. We are huge the Chosokabe. Until recently, our home province of Tosa was controlled by the Ichijo clan. We are their vassals. The waning popularity of the Ichijo throughout the province and our own growing influence gave us the means to seize control for ourselves. Now, all that remains is to crush what remains of Ichijo resistance. Once this is done, nothing will prevent the conquest of Shikoku. Our rivals, the Kuro, have their eyes on the same prize. They will also vie for control of the island, so the capture of their province, Io, must also be a priority. Whilst holding no particular strategic value, control of Io will allow us to extend our domain and bring us closer to the mainland of Honshu and its riches. We have as yet no quarrel with the Sogo or Miyoshi clans, but their subjugation or destruction will give us total control of Shikoku, and access to resources vital for expansion beyond the shores of Shikoku. 
The fine horses of Awa will enable us to field superior cavalry, whilst a stone found in Sanuki will make our castles impregnable. Both are excellent trade resources should we choose to negotiate with other clans. However, with power and influence will surely come the ire of Kyoto. And should the Shogun feel threatened, he will rally his subjects against us. In that event, we must be prepared to fend off all who would attack us, no matter from where that threat emerges. If the Shogun wishes to halt our expansion, let him come here and reckon with us himself. All right, the Aichiro clan are all but outdated, are ousted from our home province. All right, um, okay. If our daimyo is to become shogun, military ruler of all Japan, we must defeat the current shogunate, the Ashikaga clan, capturing and holding the capital of Kyoto for four seasons. At this point, the emperor will declare our clan leader shogun. We can make a bid for the shogunate at any time, Although the current incumbent may preemptively attack us if we become too powerful. War with the Shogun for either reason may result in other clans declaring war on our own in support of the status quo. Alright, well that was long and informative. Can I close that? Okay. Can I look around? Yes, I can. So, um, <laughs> after all that, I'm already starting to get close to <clears throat> my video limit here. Um, can I move? Okay, that's how I move around. So, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to dig into some of the meat and potatoes of this game. Um, well, there's probably going to be a lot of Coming familiar with what's going on, so I'll do a lot of that off camera. And it looks like <laughs> I forgot to put myself on um, Do Not Disturb on Skype, so sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> and um, yeah, when I get back, I will have a good idea of what I want to do, and then we can actually start doing stuff. So um, thanks for watching the uh, first video, and this has been uh, Let's Play Total War Shogun 2 with me, the Luminary. Goodbye.